Hey guys! Oh my gosh! Some pigeons just landed on the roof, guys! Some pigeons just landed on the roof. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am like so excited for this one because remember one of the videos that I posted and I said that if y'all got questions you should ask me and I really wanted you guys to actually ask me questions I posed a question on, on Instagram I think it was in last week or the same week when I dropped my last video I don't remember but I finally got some questions and I'm going to answer them today and I've had some questions too that people asked over the past couple of months or regular questions that I've got, right? <laughs> I'm gonna answer them today. Oh my gosh. Before we get into the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. And follow your girl on all socials at just Rachel. All right? So I took screenshots of the question that I received on my Insta story or from my Insta story. And then I have some questions in my notes that I had written down. Alright, so we're not going to go through them in any specific order. Let's hope that none of them are duplicates. Because I didn't check for that, to be honest. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this question, I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to share this one first. Because I received it from my best friend. Uh, she asked... How often do you have to retwist your hair for the year? I think it's just like this year alone that I haven't been relocking my hair often. But like last year and the year before, I was so caught up with the fact that my locks, they weren't long enough. Or they were at the, the budding stage or the ugly stage. So I was relocking my hair like two times a month sometimes once a month because i really wanted my locks to grow i was really lucky in my hair like two times a month or once a month hoping that in me relocking it so often my locks would actually grow or look longer so um this year i haven't been doing so very often so i for the year though i really cannot say because i would miss like a month or two in between and I'm speaking of last year and the other year as well but this year not so often since the year has started I think I relocked my hair like hmm maybe five no I didn't relock it I think I relocked my hair for my birthday which was in February I didn't really lock it in March. I did so probably in April. I think I did it in May. Certainly in June. And I relocked it once this month, which was the first week of this month. And I actually decided that I'm going to see how long I can go without relocking my hair. I've done this, I've tested this theory sometime in last year and I really, I really didn't like how the new growth looked, but I want to try it this year again. So, as I said, I relocked my hair once this month already, and I haven't relocked my hair since. So, I'm not going to do so for a while. And I will give you all updates on how my locks look, and how I'm coping with it, how comfortable or uncomfortable I am with it, and all of that. So, just stay tuned for that video, guys. Okay, our hair grows, but for some, our hair grows faster. For some, it doesn't grow that fast. Mine, for some sections of my hair, it grows faster than some. If I relocked my hair, like, well, I relocked my hair earlier this month, as I said, some parts really I do not have to go in and relock some of them. Some parts I already see new growth, and I, I'm tempted to relock them, but as I said, I'm going through this process. I'm gonna see how long it takes for me to relock my hair or how long I can go without relocking. So yeah. My fiance asked me this question, I think it was yesterday. Would you ever cut your locks? 
baby i told you this plenty of times <laughs> but i'm gonna let y'all know my answer no no love i love long hair i've loved long hair from ever since when i was a kid when i was younger i had long hair and then i had my hair done by someone and man this fly in the video and then from that my locks just drop off so it hasn't grown back to the length but the length that I, that my locks is at right now it's somewhere close to what my original length was if i'm remembering clearly so i've always loved long hair even before I transitioned to locks and I used to wear braids. I used to wear long braids, guys. Like, who remembers that? Ah, uh, so yeah. I don't plan to. Um, probably though, if it like passes my butt, if it passes my hips, I might cut it. But I'm just really excited for the length, guys. So, until it reaches as length and I see where I'm comfortable if I can manage the weight if I can deal with my hair getting into things and all of that it may determine if I cut my hair and how short I'll cut it but for now I'm gonna be a G and say nah -uh, I'm not gonna cut my hair um are you a Rasta no I'm not a Rasta I'm still of the Christian religion I'm not a Rasta. I have locks, but I'm not a Rasta. So no. Have you ever styled your locks? I am this old-fashioned type of chica. I don't fancy styling locks. While I'm okay seeing it, I would like tell someone to go and style their locks or I wouldn't go and style my own or get someone styled mine for me. Probably for my wedding day though, they will be styled. Because, you know, it's the wedding day. It's the wedding day. Who knows? Uh, well, not who knows. I will get it styled. But do I have a style in mind? No, I don't. Um, styles that I've worn are pretty basic. I would just, like, twist my hair. Whether it be chunky twists or, like, twisting four locks together. Or I'll plait them. Or I would... I just did the parting right now. I would, like... <laughs> catch my hair into two low ponytails or I would do a updo so I would like catch up some hair like this and you know all that kid style because I love that type of thing or just some something like I don't really style my hair even if I style it there is a hundred percent chance that you will not catch me out in public like that but yeah I have worn like pretty basic styles on the road like to run errands to do grocery shopping or something but on a regular basis or on a daily basis you're gonna see my hair like this or if I'm at home stuck at home I would just pin back my hair like a center bun or a updo especially when I'm gonna take a shower <laughs> those are my only styles guys all right so whew. Do you ever plan on loosening them in the future? No, I will not loosen my locks. Uh, I have thought about it though, and to be honest, I did I did say to myself that when it gets to a desired length, I would just loosen them and to maintain that length because I really love long hair, as I said. So, I really love my locks though, so... No, I don't plan to. If the situation does arise, probably probably not okay so let's go to the questions that i received from instagram all right so the first question is would you ever try coloring it fully not blonde but other colors so from my last video i did suggest that if anything i would color my locks i really want to color my locks by the way i've been doing some research and my decision it's like up and down it's a roller coaster i don't know but i want to lock my i don't want to color my locks um i did answer my best friend's question in my comment section and i told her if i would ever color my locks 
I would try blonde. That would be so new to me. That would be like stepping out of my comfort zone. Meanwhile, I love to see blonde hair. I'm not sure if blonde would fit me. Do you guys think blonde would fit me? Guys, this new growth right here, it just looks so... It looks away and it's like showing up my my head the shape of my head but yeah insecurities and all that uh before i had locks i had two different i had two different colors in my hair one was copper sunset and one was i can't remember the other color um i thought the hairdresser well not thought because i kind of gave her the instruction but i just thought that she would have make it look more beautiful so what she did was some sections had the copper sunset some sections had another color and so forth throughout my hair but i thought that she would have like make it look blended and gorgeous and all of that but she just basically took my literal instructions and you know give me what i asked for it was the first time receiving color in my hair so i really didn't know what i was thinking i didn't understand what i was saying to her really if that makes sense so maybe i would go back to copper sunset because that color is really pretty um you know that that deep orange color is it ombre all right i don't know colors like that because i haven't been really studying them but really i love all shades of blonde i was thinking of light blonde for myself guys you've man i don't know if it gonna look good on me you know but i really think enough blonde light blonde to be exact um if you all got color suggestions for me let me know please and thanks because this will be my second time receiving color but first time on locks you see this color right here this it they kind of look blondish now don't i think this was the copper sunset color and then it just faded to this shade um i think this looks good i think i will try to achieve this if anything and as i said i want to color my hair myself but i'm also scared because i've never done it before so if you have any like hands-on experience that you've had, right? If you have instructions to give, please send them all over here. I don't want to make any mistakes. I do not want to damage my locks. I don't want to know that my ends are breaking off and so forth. And yeah, thank you for that question. Have you ever thought of cutting it or pulling it out? Okay, so I've answered this question before no and no did your did you first lock it yourself yes um from i was little <laughs> and i would request some hairstyle from my mom mommy would give me some big twists instead um mommy could no she would give me some big plaits instead mommy could twist but the type of twist that i wanted which was rope twist mommy i don't think she could do it i don't think so because i don't remember her giving me rope twist but she would really give me some pretty chunky twist so when i wanted that style she would give it to me but when I, when i wanted um rope twist or if i wanted beads at the end of my hair i would learn to do it and i would do it myself so from i was like in grade three grade four i've been you know using my hands to work magic in my hair so this lock thing it really wasn't anything difficult it just went through like a breeze for me it did take long you know it did take long because i think it took me like two days to complete um to complete the locking at the roots right but it was a breeze it was fun i've always been doing my hair myself and it just felt right for me to start the locking process myself because i really i, I really i considered the fact that i wouldn't have the money to be going into a loctician to get my hair locked or manicured and all of that and i wouldn't have known anyone at the time in my hometown who was a loctician it was like sometime after 
um, I think I, I started working at the pharmacy at the time when a loctician officially um, opened up her shop somewhere in the town of Black River. Um, and then I did research, I asked questions because I didn't go in there directly to ask. I asked questions as to how much this lady charged and I found out that it was super costly. I was also finding out for myself to charge my clients. Um, so yeah, I just said that, all right, lock it myself. And I actually had someone um, taught me, she taught me, big up to Marsha, I don't know if she's ever gonna see my channel, but she taught me how to lock here. And from that, girl, you taught me so well, and I went back to Black River uh, sometime after I started my locks journey, and she saw me, and she was like so excited for me to know that, hey, I taught this young girl how to lock her here, how to lock here, and she went ahead and she did hers herself. She was so happy, and I could see that, you know, it was a pleasure assisting me with that. It was on the roadside, she taught me to, you know, right at her stall street life you know <laughs> why did why did, why did you decide to lock your hair okay so it was because i decided to go off to university and i wouldn't have the time to sit down and t to style my hair and all of that so i just thought that transitioning to locks it would have made it easier for me to get ready in the mornings or to handle my weekends and to take part in extracurricular activities and all of that so i decided that hey this is the best option for me i didn't like when people i didn't like asking people to go into my hair because you know them have this thing to say and everybody can agree with their hair i believe that because of my experience with losing my length so i was solely invested in taking care of my hair myself so yeah, it's all because of school, love, all because of school. I'm loving the journey, absolutely loving it. I didn't expect my hair to like form out like this, like bro, like I was really wondering how my locks was gonna look. And just look at it now, it is like so beautiful, like I really mean it is. Bro, I mean do it myself, I did this all by myself. I'm so excited for the look, ah, the length, I just feel like I'm gonna love the length even more on how my hair looks. Whew. What is your length goal? Mm. Okay, so this question, <laughs> I get so hyped up when someone asks me how far I want my hair to grow and then if I'm gonna cut it. One of my beads fell out guys, I pulled up one of my beads, I found my bead guy. I found my bead all right I don't know where it's coming from but we'll deal with that in a few um so yeah the question was what is your length goals so I want my hair to grow down to my butt <laughs> and I'm being honest even though I'm laughing it seems like I'm joking I'm being completely honest that is the length that I want and if I realize that I do not like it then I can sure go on and cut it my decision you know but I've always loved long hair it's like Damien Marley's length no I'm too short and I'm gonna look so weird with long locks so that pigeon man so I'm not gonna pull the Damien Marley on myself how do you think an Adventist male can incorporate start no let me go again how do you think an adventist male can incorporate or start locks while living a christian life all right so i'm gonna try to answer this question as best as possible all right i do not believe that if you have locks or dreads whichever name you want to call it as i really do not think that anyone should judge you because you grow your hair or you have locks right even in the bible days men had long hair i want to believe that they were locks because i don't think that they would have groomed their hair so it would have been matted and 
locks that has been matted over a period of time people would have classified them to be locks this is what people in society call them you know they stereotype black people for having dreads and call them dreadlocks meaning something which is totally dreadful and displeasing and just not fitting for society so yeah i think it would have derived from back in the bible days so just do your research read the bible understand the concept of locks the benefits of it the teachings, the life teachings, the life experiences, the life lessons that you're about to learn. And just, just listen to, to people speak on this topic. You will, you will understand more for yourself. You will learn more. And I bet that it will cause you to want to dive into this journey and to love it. If you really want to start your locks, run it by someone. In your church I'm not saying that you should ask permission but I think you should just um, get an idea of what your church members might feel about it uh, speak with your pastor speak with a deacon or deaconess I just feel I'm not saying that you should be rebellious right but if you want to start your love's journey for whatever experience whether it be spiritual or your culture or anything. I just feel like you should go ahead. You're not doing this to go into another religion such as the Rastafarian religion. You just want to have your locks for your own specific reason. But as I said, if it is for your spiritual journey, go on ahead. But if you feel that it is going to pose a problem because you would have grown up in your church and know how members of your church are it is okay for you to speak with them <clears throat> you would have been used to them anyways as i said in one of my videos having locks it is a spiritual journey if you want to know just how much dedication and how much willingness it is and how um connected you can be with your roots and with god i just believe that locks is one of the ways one of the avenues that you can do so just dive into it do your research though be certain this is what you want as a male i know it's you, you can be looked at at a particular way people may think that you backslide or whatever it is that they may think but as long as you know what you're doing you know what you're getting into if it is for spiritual growth and development go on ahead and do it i support you 100 percent it's not just about what one person thinks or what others think it's just about you being comfortable once you start this journey um when your lock starts to to form you're gonna have the pretty stage you're gonna have the ugly stage and then you're gonna have people looking at you a particular way to be like you look like you know a thief or whatever the case is because i've heard that before people starting to discriminate men because of how their starter locks would have looked you just have to embrace it embrace it be confident in this style you got to love it you got to let people understand what is it that you are doing who who you are what you're representing so make sure that this is something that you want love it when you actually start take care of your locks just don't forget your spirituality because your locks is gonna teach you that and so much more all right so thank you for that question i really hope that i helped in some way i hope that i enlightened you uh you know but trust me having locks it really is a spiritual journey it's a spiritual process it teaches you so much it really is something to cherish all right guys so don't let because of church or whatever that you're going to be like oh you want locks but you can't start locks or you're afraid to have locks or all that or anything like that all right oh so that's it that was the last question i didn't even realize let me be certain let me be certain all right um let me be certain that's all the questions that i have right these are all the questions i hope you got some clarity about me and locks on a whole so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up comment below what y'all think about it if you have more questions to ask 
Go on ahead, ask them. I can answer more questions in another video. As I said, guys, I want to color my locks. So if you have pointers to give, send them all up. Tell me if your thing blonde is gonna fit me. Guys, I really, I'm really considering if I really want to go on this this journey of not locking my hair for as long as I can. As I said, I did it once and I went like three to four months without relocking. It was a rough and rough meaning my roots looked so rough. Uh, they look so shabby. You could tell that they wanted a redo. Um, every time I wash my hair, there will be more fuzz. It will look so unkept and I love it then I don't love it. I dislike it. I was really, was really worried what people People might think but yeah guys this is me these are the questions that I have for today thank you all for the questions like comment share and subscribe and until next time take care of yourselves okay boo okay bye <laughs>